the Space Shuttle Endeavour in more than four years. Endeavour's mission for its seven-member crew includes construction, new supplies, and a former teacher who plans to educate from the ultimate classroom. The countdown is now underway. Live from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is launch coverage of Space Shuttle Endeavour. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus six hours and holding. At 7.30 this morning, Space Shuttle Program Managers met and gave a go to proceed with tanking operations for a launch attempt this evening for the STS-118 mission to the International Space Station. At the earliest possible opportunity this morning at 8.11 Eastern Time, chill down of the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen lines began. Filling of the external tank with both uh, propellants takes about three hours to complete to completely fill the 535,000 gallon tank. At 8.22 this morning we transition to slow fill of the liquid hydrogen tank. And slow fill will take the uh, level in the liquid hydrogen tank to about 5% after which we'll begin fast filling it. Uh, the liquid oxygen tank is still in the chill down mode and that operation uh, to go to slow fill will commence shortly. Managers and engineers here in firing room four at the Kennedy Space Center in the Launch Control Center are carefully monitoring the progress of fueling activities and again everything is going very well. Weather is not forecast to be an issue during tanking operations. There's less than five percent chance of weather inhibiting the tanking uh, flow operation. Nor is weather expected to become a problem for launch later this evening when Endeavour is plan to lift off at approximately 6.36 p.m. Weather forecast remains 20 percent chance of uh, weather prohibiting launch, just a very slight chance of isolated showers forming along the Space Coast. So an 80 percent chance of good weather today. Everything is on track. There are no technical issues. Both the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen are held in propellant storage facilities at the launch pads at launch pad 39A. A 900,000 gallon tank stores the liquid oxygen at minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. A similar 850,000 gallon tank stores liquid hydrogen at minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. Both the hydrogen and oxygen travel through so-called cross-country lines and pass through the fixed service structure at pad 39A through the mobile launch platform and then they uh, enter their respective tanks inside the external tank. Later this evening the 535,000 gallons of liquid oxygen and hydrogen will pass through Endeavour to the three space shuttle main engines and help propel her into orbit. Again the tanking operations began at the earliest possible opportunity this morning at 811 Eastern Time Everything is looking good and on target for completing the tanking operation in about three hours.